All right, guys. There was a request uh, to basically outline, you know, let's get away from the water, to outline what's the best use of the gems. Uh, I believe they were referred to as diamonds in the request. Um, that's these guys up here. Gems, yeah, not really diamonds, but um, the most uh, efficient use of them. <clears throat> okay, so here's my experience. First of all, before every one of the events, like the event events, like when you're doing the nights or you're doing uh, some of the other ones, they'll have uh, like a pre-event primer so they'll offer this is for the people that are that are paying money they'll offer for 99 cents you can get 200 gems and that you can do that five times all right really birds not helpful die die yeah you can't still chirp when you're all dead. Anyhow. <laughs> um, all right, there's the water, of course. All right, so uh, the 99 cents for 200 gems is the best deal you're ever going to get. They're never going to offer you a better deal than that that we've seen to this point. Now, that happens when they're doing these events. These events seem to be quarterly. It seems to be like once every three months. Maybe it's once every two months. I haven't really spaced it on out. But let's just say it's quarterly. Okay? So you're going to get four times a year, you're going to get access to those kind of gems. Right? Uh, so a thousand gems, four times a year, four thousand gems for essentially, what is that? Five, five, yeah, 20 bucks. 20 bucks for 4,000 gems. To give you a comparison, you go in here, you go, you look, 4,000 gems for 20 bucks, yeah, it's better than the 50 bucks that they want for the 4,800. It's even better than the 2,800. Um, so, anyhow, you get an idea. That's the best deal that's out there. Uh, that's the best way to get the gems without earning them. The best way to earn them, obviously, is to do the collect gems. I think I just finished this one. Collect gems two. Collect gems one. Both of those. Uh, one's going to give you 15. What did this one give me? Of course, it doesn't show me. I think this one gave me 15. I think the other one gives you like 10 or something like that. Or maybe the one gives you 15 and this one gives me slightly more. I, I forget. But regardless, it is what it is. Um, more of these effing birds. All right. Um, you're going to get some from the monsters. You're going to get some, obviously, from doing your raids. You get some from your titan chest. Um, you're going to get some from doing your missions in here. It's a big part of where you're going to get some of these guys um, let's see how to spend them wisely that is a very very important question and we're gonna out outline that right now okay first of all by the way uh, yes very good you want this one against the yellow Titan um, it's not a must-have but you have this one has abilities that you don't normally get with purple. Anyhow. Uh, so the best way to use your uh, gems. Never use them here. <laughs> never, uh, never use them here either. And never, ever, ever think about using them here. Okay. Now that that's all out of the way, there's only one option left. <laughs> Elemental. Only use your gems in elemental. Right? This is when you have a need. Like, I have a need for purple. I need purple. 
this is where you do it. You do it here in purple, where you, it's, you have an increased probability of getting five stars when you do elemental, because there's less to choose from, okay? It's a simple law of probability. I can't give you the exact numbers because, well, I'm not good at stats. But I do know that the probability is much higher here than it is out here, where who knows what's going to happen. Um, so anyhow, the, the best value is going to be in your elemental for using your gems. Unless the Atlantis thing's open. Now, when Atlantis is open... That's interesting, because it's going to cost you 50 more gems instead of the 300 that it will cost you here. It costs you 350 there. But what they're giving you is not an elemental. What they're giving you is an epic hero one with the Atlantis heroes in there. This is not the same as an elemental. If you have a need... For a purple or whatever, you wait till you have this elemental. Don't go and waste it on an Atlantis thing. Hoping, because basically what's going to happen is they're going to treat the Atlantis thing as the same thing as an elemental. So think of like the elemental being purple, right? So let's just imagine this one, like what I have right now. So the elemental purple is what's favored, right? So they're going to cross out all the other heroes, and they're only going to offer me the purple ones. Okay, that's fine. Now let's apply the same concept to the Atlantis one. So now what they're going to do is they're going to offer me all of the Atlantis people in there, right? That would be my, quote, purple, unquote, right? But they're going to throw a curveball at me. And then they're going to also say, yep, but guess what? As a penalty, you get all the epic heroes from the epic hero summons also. Okay, well, that just soured everything. So, the best way to use your gems is you would use them here in the elemental summons. Your best odds are here. Period. I don't care. Your best odds are here. Now, if you're looking for hero of the month, um, well, I have... Good and bad news for you. The good news is you have increased probability at certain times during the month. The bad news is, is that that time frame happens to be at the end of the month. Um, I was not the one that proved this. I saw the pattern and I've made use of it. And hence, the reason why I can show you right now is proof that I have Hero of the Months. Hero of the Month, Grave... Uh, yeah, Delilah, Alassi, Gregorian, do I have another one? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of these guys, Drake, this is because I went crazy and started pulling all these guys, uh, let's see, is there any other Hero of the Months? Yeah, well that's it. Until I saw the pattern, uh, I wasn't getting any Hero of the Months. Now I can pull them because, well, I know what the pattern is. Um, needless to say, um, Seven Days Departed, uh, they are my data source for this. Uh, my proving data source, because I already had seen this uh, subjectively. Uh, this is actually part of uh, uh, Poach's uh, theorem, let's say. You know, we refer to it all the time as Hoach's Theory. Well, this leads into it. This is part of Hoach's Theory. And this is how I'm able to get these Heroes of the Month. Um, so predictably. Well, alright, let's, let's not say predictably, but let's say with frequency. Increased frequency. So, uh, yes. So basically, that's your best bet for gems. I'd use them elemental summons, and then once you're strong enough in each of the categories, because that's what I was doing. Obviously, I want to be strong against every Titan. I want to be able to go into a war, and I want to be able to mess up every kind of team that's out there. Boom. I want to go, I, I want to six-shot people. Um, I want to go into a Titan, and I want to take, you know, 
30 to 70 to 80 to 120 K off a Titan with one hit. I just do. And this is how I do it. I have to make myself stronger on each category. And so I'm very particular about this. Now I made a lot of mistakes uh, going through this. Like I wasn't doing this. I was wasting gems on epic heroes. Never, ever, ever waste gems on epic heroes or even epic troops. You're going to get tokens, tokens in the game to use those two categories. Don't, or these bottom three categories, don't ever use anything other than a token to do any of these. Ever, 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 ever. And I would go so far as to say that 350 gems to, uh, to do a pull in Atlantis, that's a waste. An utter waste. I would not do that. I would instead use the 100 um, Atlantis tokens to do that. So I would go all tokens, everything but elemental. Elemental, now you're using gems. Now it's getting serious. And on top of it, this 2600 to pull 10, yeah, I would use this. But I will say this, and take this with a grain of salt, 2600 for 10, they're not making it. All right, th this falls into my, my theorem again, my theory. So eventually my theory will be available to all to peruse. Right now it's currently an advanced topic uh, because, well, it's advanced. <laughs> it's our secret sauce. It's how we're able to, uh, to progress so quickly. Anyhow, um, at least some of us have. Some of us still think, you know, I'm full of shit. Um, but the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to use your gems in this summons. And I would use them singly in the summons for 300 gems. At one at a time, because what generally happens when you do the 10 draws, and I've done lots of 10 draws, so uh, this is subjective, but it's still factual. Um, normally you end up getting something good near the beginning of your 10 draw, and then the remaining, like, in the first, like, three or four draws of your 10 draw, and then the rest is crap. You get a lot of three stars when you do 10 draws. So, um... And I think that's by design, per my theory. But um, it's better to do the single summons, in my humble opinion, because then you can stop it. So you're like, boom, done. Okay, yeah, I got a four-star. Boom, done. Yeah, another four-star, uh, but they're both crappy. And you, boom, done. Oh, I got a four-star that's good. Then you stop. Because the only thing that's coming after that is three-star bullshit. Um, and I'm sorry if anyone's offended by me saying three-star bullshit, but I'm just trying to be brutally honest here. Um, you want four stars. You want five stars. Hell, if they had a six-star, you'd want a six-star. But it is what it is. Um, so hopefully that helps explain how to do it, and why to do it. Um, what you're going to be looking for if you're uh, if you're one of those paying players is you're going to look for those deals. 99 cents for 200, that's a deal. Right? Uh, something that's even money is also uh, good. So if it's, let's say it's like $1.99 for 200, that's even money. Um that's not the deals that they normally give. They, it's worse than that with the, the one that they normally give in the shop. Um, but at least you're getting a slight discount with $2 for 200. Normally what they'll do is $2 for 200 and then they'll throw in like Ascension items. Eh, I don't know how I value those. Depends on whether or not you need them. Um, but how to use them. Uh, other stuff that you want to look out for, this is crap. My device, yeah. that's crap. So, for these guys, so I'm get over this. Epic Troop. So you're getting a crap 
epic troop token, you're getting four of them, right? So that might be worth 800 gems, not 1500. So they're valuing everything else at another seven. I don't value that. Uh, these ascension packs, I've tried them myself uh, just to, as a uh, point of reference. Um, you're never going to get these high level ascension ones. You get at least two of the following. You rarely ever get more than two or three or four. Um, this is a trap. I mean, none of these things individually are worth 600 gems. So, yeah, uh, mage combo. This is least tangible, but I mean, 300 for potentially getting like two hourglasses. That's insane. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get crap. You're going to get the two star guy. So anyhow, all I'm trying to say is don't waste your money or your gems on any of this kind of crap. If you have any questions, ask. Uh, avatars, I mean, this is all crap. I mean, I, I'm not even going to sugarcoat. This is crap. I, why even click on it? I'm clicking on it just to show you that it's crap. Uh, filling your food, crap. Filling your iron, crap. Hero cap increase. Now this is interesting. This can mean something. But until you have extra gems, don't even bother. Um, but it'll allow you to hold on to more guys. So you can make decisions about how you want to mix things on up until later. Um, and so I think that's pretty good for right now. So there you go. How to spend your gems uh, in a more efficient way, more wisely, as my wife says. And there you go. There was Mandy.